Hello, this is Reza from Red Cat. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about another function which is helpful for the relationship called related table in DAX and Power BI, how you can use the related table function, what are things to consider. Let's go and check it. The related table function is a DAX function that goes through an existing relationship, an existing active relationship, uh, very similar to the uh, related function. The difference, however, is that the related table function returns a table. Uh, it's a tabular function. Related function is returning a scalar value. Uh, there are a few other differences such as like the direction of relationship and things like that as well. But to understand how the related table works, uh, best is to go through that uh, through an example. Let's say I have a model like this. I have a customer table. Let's focus on this part mainly. Uh, let's say I have a customer table and the fact internet sales table. Now these two tables are already connected to each other using the customer key. Uh, what I want to do, let's say in the customer table is I want to add a sales uh, column as a column. I want to add a sales column that for every customer, it gives me the sales amount, the total sales amount for all transactions for that specific customer. So what I have to do is for every customer here, I have to scan this table and find all records for that specific customer. Uh, like a sub record a sub table of this table fact internet sales but for only for that specific customer for example if customer key is one uh, let's say 10 15 records with customer key one if customer key is two 10 15 records for customer key two and and then uh, the remaining in order to do something like this, we can use the related table function. This function is really simple. The way that you can use it is you can uh, you can create a calculation just to show you how it works. I can create a calculation in that calculation. I can simply type related table. Uh, all it gets is the input table. This should be a table that is related to the existing table. If you don't see your table here, that probably means that that table is not connected to this table through an existing active relationship. Uh, so I cannot use that directly in a column, but I can use that uh, with uh, something like this. Here I have, uh, what I have done is I have used the related table. I'm saying that give me the related table from fact internet sales. So what it means, it means that for every record here, it will give me all transactions from fact internet sales, all records from fact internet sales, which has the same customer key. It would be a sub table from that sub table. I calculate uh, the sum of sales amount using SumX function. If you are interested to learn, learn more about SumX, uh, check the link to my blog article, uh, down in the description below. Uh, so as a result, this will give me the sum of sales amount for that record. There are of course other ways to calculate this um, sum of sales for every customer, but I just did it this way to show you to show you how the related table function works. Now the related table function does not only go through one uh, relationship it goes actually through all the relationships so if I look at my model in a bigger view my model also have another table called the dim geography and that table also connected to the customer tables so I have that table connected to customer table customer table connected to the fact internet sales table this means that I can use related table function right from here and access data from fact internet sales it doesn't matter how many tables I have in the middle of these if I have a way to connect these two through some relationships, it would work. And those relationships should be, of course, active relationship, which means here in dim geography, I can use kind of similar expression and get the sales amount all the way from fact internet sales table into the dim geography table using one related table. We won't say related table, related table, just one is enough. Exactly similar to how the related function works. Again, if you are interested in learning about related, I have another video and blog article about that. Go and check the link down in the description below. 
there is a, a difference between related and related table, and that is the related function works uh, uh, in any direction of the relationship where the related um, uh, fun uh, the related function works in just single direction from one to many uh, by direction I don't mean this direction I mean from one side to many side but related table would also work the other way around um, apart from that these functions can be used very similarly uh, the example I showed you showed how this can be used uh, in a calculated column, but you can also use it in a measure. The only thing you need to uh, remember is that this function returns a table. If you use it in a measure, uh, you cannot use it directly. You have to wrap it inside another function such as sumx, calculate, any other functions that accept a table or a table expression. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.